Life is for adventure. I'm happy to be here to share my adventure. In the last, in the next few minutes, I will try to showcase some particular happenings of my life, which was lead to the creation of the wooden car. The work of the last three years, the combination of technology and creativity led to create Julia, the wood of art on wheels. The working on art, the, the art on wheels. Um, my parents recognized pretty soon that I wasn't similar to the other six children of them. I didn't care much about school. I was interested more for playing, drawing, carving on wood, creating all kinds of toys, and a lot of other things. It, at the age of 11, I became a member of the sculpture club in Turku Moresh, and uh, in the Pioneer House, has been always a big happiness for me carving on wood, which I practiced there four years. At the same time, I was a member at the biggest children's choir in Turku Moresh, led by Virtola Jozef, where I discovered the passion for music and singing. At the age of 15, I went to the woodworking trade school, where I uh, learned about the technology of woodwork. And uh, just after finishing it, after three years, I was working in one of the factory where I had the opportunity to, move, to work with, uh, beside the uh, wood, also with other materials like uh, wood, like uh, metal, rubber, glass fiber, which I, was useful for me later on on my creations. Meanwhile, I never gave up the passion for singing. A gypsy boy was teach me teach me uh, uh, to sing uh, to play on guitar. I was singing all kind of songs with. And later on, when I get married, together with my wife, Julia, uh, we uh, sang in different amateur choirs. Meanwhile, I graduated the singing department of the four faculty, and then I decided to change my career. Now, very few, uh, in one year, I think after one year, I became a member of the Philharmonic Choir in Turkmoresh, and just after one year, just after the revolution, I continued my career as opera singer uh, at the Hungarian Opera House in Cluj, where already in the first year I sang in big five roles. Cluj offered us a lot of goods. My wife became also a member of the <coughs> choir at the same opera house. Our children were growing up in the midst of culture. They were also studying music. I participated in a lot of tours, performances. They were beautiful times. You might think, you might think that my life was completely changed. Yes and no, because during those times, I never gave up tinkering, renovating cars and doing all kinds of things. Often, I learned the rules beside or even under the car by listening to them. Like I was singing, Non c'è la lì, per me non va di letto, Una roncia a tre lune, da che la mia violenza Agi per me lasciò novizie, amori, e le pompose feste, o vario bacia vezia, e di astia voce spun di sua bellezza. And so on. <laughs> uh, I, uh, we, we started to... <laughs> I, uh, I was learning a lot of rose. 
I think 35 rules I was learning in the, in the 25 years. And um, there were beautiful times. I was, um, I went in a lot of tours, like Hungary, Switzerland, uh, United States, Canada, Finland, Sweden, Austria, and also Israel. There were beautiful times. But after all, we want to, to change. <laughs> Why to change? Why to change again? So, I think we wanted to change because we wanted to live again among our lovely big family, to live in a quiet place with a house of, in, with garden and also interior. So, we changed. Koronka became our new home. We bought there an old house and uh, slowly, slowly, uh, we made it more and more comfortable. And um, besides singing, I started to, pro uh, to uh, make some uh, house projects, to design some new house projects. And I learned how to deduct how to make uh, architectural technical drawings. I always liked it to design. So, some uh, people were interested after my, on my design. I even had an order to design a pension in Sobata. Uh, as soon as I realized I needed to start a building company. Oh, a building company. Operative. But I, I thought uh, if I uh, love this job, I have to do it, besides singing. So, uh, in a few years, uh, we succeed to build about 32 houses. And uh, after some years of construction, I felt the desire to create something new again. I don't know how and why came the idea to build a wooden horse carriage after all my design. I told my wife, a what? A carriage? Yes, I said a carriage. So we went in Austria, we visited uh, the Museum of Schönbrunn, where we had the possibility to see a lot of uh, hundreds of carriages, which was useful before we did it. So we came home and after eight months, I was finishing the carriage. So I would like to show you the carriage. Oh, here it is. <laughs> so uh, this is uh, one of the uh, exhibition. I wrote the carriage. This is also made on, uh, by Ashwood, on by Ashwood. And it was big successful. After this, I said, I want a bigger challenge. So, guess what? A wooden car. So, I was looking on the internet. Um, can I find some wooden cars, concept wooden cars, not imitations? And I was very glad when I realized that I saw only two of them. And I said, this is it. This is now I make a big shot. So, I said again to my wife, a what? A wooden car? I hope that in next year you will not see that you will build an airplane or something. I said, no, no, just a wooden car, I say. Okay, uh, I made on paper the car, and uh, then I made a scale model, which you can see here, and uh, Ferenc Jolt, the 3D uh, designer, he accomplished uh, the design of the car, uh, making photos from my scale model. And this is the, the project. And this we were printed in a, on the scale one to one. And then I had to extend the uh, atelier because it was not big enough. And I made uh, uh, another another part of the atelier 
And when I was fixing in the middle of the interior the car, but I forget to tell you that the technical work we worked in one year together with Matus Chabo, he was the leader of the technical, mechanical and electrical work of this car. So I was fixing in the middle of the interior and I had to make I was uh, fixing the poster the, on the scale one to one, the, the front side, the back side, and the right side on the wall. So, after that, I had to make a system to check the right position of the car from the picture to the car. So I invented a, a system all around the interior uh, helping uh, with a, a, a bidimensional distance meter and with that I could uh, verify the exact position from the poster to the car. And then I was thinking how to uh, <coughs> verify the image because, you know, it has to be the same, the mirror. Uh, the distance has to be the same and the, everything uh, to be precise. So I made a, a system, rolling system on platform and rolling from one side to another, I could check the right position uh, helping the telemeter. I mean, using the tin meter. So, it was a hard work. I won't uh, bury you with a lot of pictures, a lot of talks, but it was a hard work and it was a big success for me. It was a big happiness for me to make it. And I had the opportunity to bring the car at the biggest uh, concept show uh, in Frankfurt, where um, it was a big happiness to see my car between Ferraris and Maserati and 10,000 people were admired the car. But I think I showed you something here. Oh yes, I forget to say that uh, uh, I was, pe I was uh, cutting the pieces with benzo and gluing them, gluing them together I was, I was uh, starting uh, first time to make the sides. You see here, I glue it, I glue it the, uh, the, the pieces one up to one. And slowly, slowly, I built up the car in two years. Uh, what I, yes, here, here I was carving uh, the door of the car uh, beside our lake. It was a very nice time and I was very happy. So, uh, I told you about the uh, exhibition and the success, success, but I think it was more exciting. Uh, here, I, I forget who it is. There is a tablet in, on a dashboard, and that was uh, made uh, that uh, in simple touch, uh, you can activate it, the music, GPS, uh, even open the hood and uh, the lamps. So, uh, it was more exciting that when I was finishing the car, we were finishing the car, I took out on the street and all the neighbors, friends came out to share the happiness together. It was a great time. This was just after we went in uh, Frankfurt. So, I would like to say that I witnessed God, God blessing through all my life. He helped me <coughs> at the, uh, on the creation, activities, desire. He blessed me with a big, lovely family, with a beautiful wife, nine lovely four children, grandchild already. And, uh, <coughs> It is very important, I think, it is very important. Uh, we had also difficulty periods in our lives. 
But thanks God, we got, we got, we went further. And I think it is very important that to see your dreams in front of your eyes and and never give up, never ever give up. Um, God bless you all, and I. Uh, would like to oh I would like to uh, say for you that uh, uh, go for your dreams and uh, because they are meant for you uh, don't forget that you don't have to give up and go for it thank you for your attention <laughs>